Hello everybody and welcome to another Gentech PC product showcase. Today we will cover the unboxing, general overview, and benchmarking of the brand new ASUS G750. You can expect a lot of new laptops to show up on the market because of the brand new Intel Haswell refresh, and that's what ASUS has done. They've brought you the popular G series with the 4th generation Haswell CPU and the high-end 700 series NVIDIA GPU. Let's go ahead and kickstart our showcase by unboxing the unit for you. As you can see, we get a nice fancy black box with all the Republic of Gamers logos, ASUS logos, and many of the features of the laptop featured on the outside. When you get it opened up, a familiar packing design here. We have cardboard wings on each side of the laptop to keep it protected during shipping from any kind of shock damage and crush damage. Once you remove those off, you have a cloth-like covering over the laptop that prevents it from receiving any kind of scratches. And now you can have your first look at the brand new ASUS G750. As you can see, the roots are still there. We still have the stealth fighter look and the rubberized finish and the nice black coloring. But each revision of this model does change the appearance slightly. Inside of the box, we of course still have many of the other things that we need to include with a laptop. The center package area, we're going to have a cardboard casing that has the product manual, driver's disc, and all the other things including the also familiar Velcro strap for cable management. Nothing too exciting there in the center pouch, except that these things are necessities, and of course the day that you need them, you hope that you can find them. Next onto the left side of the box, this is where we're going to find our power brick. This is the AC to DC adapter. And finally, as we move to the right side of the box, our final things to unbox, we're going to have the power cable that goes from your wall to the power adapter, and of course the laptop's battery. Now that we have everything fully unboxed, we can power on the unit and start to show you a tour. Of course, at the top of your LCD lid, you're always going to have the microphone and your HD webcam. Rubberized corner stops to keep the screen from getting scratched. And this is a full HD matte display. And now moving towards the bottom half of the laptop, we have a sticker badge here that shows some of the features and specs that this laptop has. We see our Republic of Gamers logo down there as well. And you get a very thin front of the laptop, very large oversized touchpad with individual left and right clicks and status LEDs in front of that that you can see easily. A couple more stickers for the NVIDIA GPU and Intel CPU. And then we move on to the backlit chiclet style keyboard. As standard for the G-Series laptops, it does not change colors or anything. It whites up in a standard white, but it's a very pleasing color, and it can be, of course, dimmed or turned off if you don't like to have it on. Overall, everything comes together in a really nice package, and it's a very pleasing laptop to use. And since this is the first time we've powered on the unit, of course, we have our initial Windows 8 setup. First thing here is our language selection, and once we get past this, we can boot up into the operating system. Moving over to the back of the laptop, we see the LCD lid, and you can now notice with the lights off that the Republic of Gamers logo is illuminated. The LCD lid is covered in that black rubberized finish, which is very, very pleasing to hold on to. It gives you a good grip with the laptop. Now it's time to do some laptop modeling for you. A 360 degree spin to give you an overall idea of the look and dimensions of the laptop. 
Of course, pay attention to the LCD screen here. You can see the viewing angles. And you'll also notice, of course, that it's matte, like we mentioned, because if it was not, you'd see extreme reflections at that point. With the LCD in the closed position, you can actually get a really good look of how thin the profile is for this laptop. And being that it's a high-end gaming laptop, that's quite an accomplishment. Now let's move in for a closer look at everything. Our front section is flush with no connections, but you do have your status LEDs up front. These are the same that are on the top, and that way you can still see them when the LCD is closed. Onto the right hand side, we have our headphone output and microphone input ports. These are 3.5mm connections, two USB 3.0 ports, a mini display port, HDMI, your RJ45 for your local area network connections and internet, the VGA output, and of course this is where your power adapter plugs in so you can charge and run the laptop off of mains power. Further along now to the back, we see one of the very large exhaust vents here on that side. Across the middle, nothing but the battery. And then to the right, the other exhaust vent. This is what gives the laptop that stealth fighter look. The left side, we have the Kennington lock port, two more USB 3.0 ports, and our optical drive with a dedicated eject button. Just beyond that, we have our multi-card reader. And that's going to cover all of the interfaces on the outside of the laptop. Now we move into Windows 8 and we're going to take a look at the device manager so you can see what's included with the hardware. You'll see here that we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 765 mobile. The G750 will have three video card options. This one also the GTX 770 and the GTX 780. However, those are not yet released and they will be released shortly in the future. Also for the Haswell CPU, we have the 4700 here. The Windows WEI index, we have a 5.9, and that's because the hard drive is only at 5.9, and that's going to give us our lowest score. Benchmarking the system with a stock configuration, 3 Mark Vantage gave us a performance score of 14,916, that's a quite appreciable score considering this is not the highest in GPU that you can get in this system. Then here's the CPU Z information on the CPU. And here is the GPU Z information for the video card. You have 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM for the video card, and of course you can see the core clock and memory frequencies. Always just as important as your actual benchmarking scores, the other thing you always want to know when benchmarking is the thermal properties of your laptop and testing out your maximum temperatures. As you can see, the video card only reached 58 degrees Celsius max, and the CPU stayed under 80 degrees Celsius. And the next benchmark for us to test out was 3 Mark 11, and on that benchmark we managed to get a performance score of 4069. And again, this is run on the stock configuration with no overclocking using the GTX 765 mobile and the Intel i7-4700HQ. And now as we are nearing the end of our product showcase, it's time to flip over the laptop and show you the bottom. Here we have our dedicated subwoofer as part of the audio system. And next to that is the user accessible bay door that we have to remove to get access to the internal components. Speaking of internal components, the ASUS G750 is one of the very first laptops we've seen that includes a wireless card that uses 5G, which is up to three times faster than the already fast wireless in. Getting into the system is fairly simple, however you do need to know that there is a rubber cover over the screw that you need to remove to get the access door open. From that point on, getting the access door off is fairly simple, just snap it out of place. Now once you're inside of the system, you'll be greeted by two hard drive bays and some RAM slots. Only one hard drive is occupied, so you can just add a second hard drive. And keep in mind the ASUS G750JH will be coming with micro SATA SSDs as the second hard drive. Now we'll take the time to measure things out for you. Now this is a 17 inch laptop, so as we measure across, you'll see that we're just over 16 inches, almost exactly 16 inches and one quarter. The other direction is going to be just over 12 and a half inches. For your height in the rear of the laptop, which is the tallest portion, 
were well under two inches and just over an inch and a half. And for the height in the front, it's almost exactly at one inch. All these dimensions are quite small for a high-end gaming laptop. For the weight of the unit, with the battery in the laptop itself, we're at 8 pounds and 9 ounces. And if you travel with the power adapter and cable, then you're putting yourself just over 10 pounds. And that, everybody, is going to be bringing our product showcase to a close. We're sure that anybody who's a fan of Asus or is moving to Asus for the first time will find that this Haswell refresh for the G-Series has made the G750 a very good laptop to want to own. If you have any questions that our video did not cover or you would just like to learn more about the G750, then feel free to visit our website, gentechpc.com. We have the full product specs, current pricing and availability, and of course, our online customized ordering process. Anything you'd like to change about a laptop as far as upgrades or changes, we can make for you and have it covered under a full warranty. We hope that everybody enjoyed the product showcase. And once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.